Hello everybody, how is it going and welcome to another episode of Goblin Stone. I cannot wait to continue our little journey here in this beautiful tactical RPG roguelite. We got our shaman guild upgraded, which means that our, uh, yeah, our shamans are way better now. They should have way more power, which means that we can heal better and we can deal more damage. That's the thing. Really cool. Um, the question is, do we change the abilities around a little bit? We have the heebie-jeebies that we have not unlocked yet, which gives us three random allies haste. When it expires, they gain slow. Cannot be used on the first turn. I don't think so. I believe what we have here is a pretty good setup combined with uh, healing and some damage output. I am actually in love with that. We're gonna keep that as it is. It's fine. Um, in order to upgrade that thing even further, we need to upgrade our Ancestors Hall, but that thing needs 20 souls. And right now, I don't retire any goblins. This is kind of weird. Uh, also, we have some things that we have to get uh, still from our last mission, which is a Hinterlands badge. An award for defeating a boss within the Hinterlands. And some rock. What are we doing with this thing? Do we get anything in the war room? Any, like, badges or so? I want to quickly check the map. Is it that guy that we just defeated and we can now go back and know that he's there? Could be. It absolutely could be. But uh, it's not one of my points right now. I want to get better goblins. And we also found a very nice raider that I want to get. Raider Shaman? Uh, we're going to check this out. Um, but first, we need to get rid of some of the other guys. So we'll take a look at the barracks and probably, probably get rid of some of these people. Uh, Howldeck is our currently only Acolyte. Uh, do we just get rid of some rookies? You got 13 power? No, 13 crit chance. Ah, okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Um, you are just lucky. And I don't think you... Oh, you have decent stats, actually. But it doesn't help. We gotta make some room here. That's the important part about it. Mm, all of these rookies. Why are they here? You're not that interesting. Skeptic Lucky. Uh, yeah, but your base stat line is garbage. I think we're gonna find some better ones right now. I think we have fought our way out of the early game and uh, we can just say a goodbye to you guys. Beanbinder. Yeah. Totally. Totally. Bad. Wherever they roam. Who are you, Slurbuster? Technically, pretty good spirit. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, actually. Oh, actually. Yeah, man, you would make a great shaman. Like, the base stat line is 556. Five, oh, we should keep you. We should absolutely keep you. Um, but anyways. Um, I think we have enough room now. Which means we are going... Hold up. What does it cost us here? <laughs> yeah, 20 wood. No, I'm not gonna do that. Cancel, cancel, cancel. We need the wood somewhere else. Um... Let's go ahead and um, recruit our friend Heal Boomer, who is extremely good, and he brings some new traits to the gene pool. Um, for example, Ferocious, with just three flat power. Defensive gives you five magic armor or armor at the start of each battle. Skeptic is also pretty nice. So we're gonna get you in here, and I think we're gonna start breeding immediately with this guy. One more thing, can we finally build the guild? We cannot build the guild. The Acolyte Guild. Why? Guilds up to five, Lada Quarters Armory. We have an Acolyte, but we cannot build Acolytes. All right, all right, all right, all right. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and actually take a look at the a Warrens and see what we can do here. We still have some older guys before. sitting around here. Get out of here. They're free now to live a life Just get out of here. We don't need you. Okay. Live a carefree life. So, we free have from war. Heal Boomer. Which have... Uh, that, that guy has amazing stat lines. I mean, the three could be better. Yes, but seven minds, seven spirits. Amazing. And then, I want to pair him with... There was a peon somewhere. Totally. The den needs new blood. Totally. That's going to be amazing. Let's see what's coming out of these two. <laughs> ah. And then we're gonna take the best one and make it one of our new guys. Because I'm again I'm not a fan of this kind of acolyte guy right now uh, that we are running. So we're gonna take a look at these little guys. Hello? There we go. 
So, Cape Jailer. A flabby brute 377 skeptic alert. I mean, we can make him really skeptic. Make him a raider. He has 22 health, which is not the greatest, but it's okay, I'd say. And we can give him alert as well for one armor. It seems really good. Like, a, a stat line of 9 on his main stat is amazing. An appropriate vocation. I like it. I do like it. Crit chance is 18%. Uh, let, let, let me think, let me think. I'm gonna take a look at the other guys real quick. Uh, what was his deadline? It was a 377, like his father, yeah. 376, Skeptic Alert Ferocious for just flat 3 power, which is nice. So we could do that. And have even more power. He's better. He's just better. I don't care about Spirit too much. That is amazing. It's a damage dealer, through and through. Why can I not make him a raider? Interesting, but I could also make him a great hunter. Oh, yes. <laughs> All right. And it's 577 here. What? What? Ferocious skeptic? That amount of health? Welcome aboard, life hunter. Yes. All right. I think, honestly, all of these are great. They're amazing. They're, like, really good in terms of damage dealing. Like, physical damage dealer. Oh, they are so good. I could even make this, like, a... A guard. It's not a bad guard. Got some nice body for max life. And alert. Oh, but we don't have any room anymore. Okay, guys. Oh, this is so much stuff that we have to manage here. Let me go ahead and take a look at these guys. Is it time to actually retire you? I really feel it is. Yeah, I'm sorry, man. Actually, no. Hold up, it is not. It is absolutely not. Um, Veil Filler. You got the Dark Power upgrade for, like, a 13 power stat line. What do we get from Mind? Each point of mind gates one crit. We need to upgrade the guild. Yeah, I think we're gonna go more raider and more hunter now. Holy crap. So here are our newest uh, additions. We have a 594 guy. Who wants to be... Wants to be... Uh, hunter? I think... I think... We do it. We're gonna do it. He's like really good. Hunter bonus gives us every three mind is one power. So he has that nine. So that's a nice like cut in three. It's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. Uh, and then we got grit. Grit dude guy. Who is gonna be my new... Oh wait, he's a hunter? Cannot be a raider. That's, that's and we're gonna take it back and make you a raider instead. Yes. All right, gotcha. So that means I'm going to say goodbye to my other guys like you. You can retire now, my friend. This one's adventuring day. Fine trader. I know you have you have racked up some resistances already, but we need these souls as well. I'm going to retire you as well. All right. So, what are we doing now? Um 13 power that you have, thanks to the dark power. But. But, 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 but. You're also extremely good. With the ferocious bonus. Holy crap, man. You're just the same guy. No, wait, you have more body. So, uh, life hunter... Get in here. Veil Filler is gonna go home. He is gonna retire now. Let's do it. You've done well, my friend. Give me your souls. Thank you. So, if we give him this. He sits at 13 uh, power as well, but he can still get these uh, like nasty shrine upgrades. And that is what I love. 9 power, 10 power. Should probably sell this. Okay, so... um. More health overall, 
good amount of crit. I love it. And more power. It's just better over the board. Now we need the hunter that we've just built. Which is... Wasn't it life? Uh... No, life hunter was this guy. Okay. It's Gritwicker. Gritwicker is going to go over here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. Give it a spear. 16 power. Oh, and 18% crit as well. Um, yeah, we need to upgrade our, I would say, Raider Guild. I think that's a great way to get some power in here. I want to go double shaman. Let's do it like this, actually. Yeah. Oh, boy. So, that being said, I want to upgrade my Raider's Guild, which is this one here. Nice. Okay. We have five wood, so we cannot upgrade anything. Oh, wait. What are we doing with this? Cannot be sold. It's just sitting here, taking up inventory space or what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Maybe we can do something with that in the capital of the orcs or so? I don't know. Okay, so there's that. We got this figured out. Now we're gonna go to the merchant again, because I uh, figured something out here as well. We have a better shield. That's a seven power, two armor shield. And we are still using the stool, which is six power, zero armor. So yes, we sell that. Yes, we get this. There's also a big mallet for bandit and acolytes. It's good, technically, but I don't really care. We have a 13 power thrust weapon for a hunter. But I do like the plus 5 armor that we have on our stick, so yeah, we're gonna go with the defense here. And that is a 11 power, what is that, edged bone? It's technically just better. Yeah. So we'll take that with us. Okay. Just so guys, needed. I'm ready. Let's see how this is gonna go. These friends here are, by the way, complete garbage. We don't really care about them. I think we have everything done that we could do right now. So let's go ahead, take a look at the map, and progress the storyline. Sure, why not? <gasps> we get guaranteed wood! Yes! Absolutely fantastic. All right, quickly equipping our guys, and then we're gonna go in. Cannot wait to get this going, guys. 14 power. You're fine with your twig. You got the long stick. And you still have this stupid magic rock, which we should also get rid of. But the speed bonus is fantastic! <laughs> it, I think it still makes up for the lacking power. Because we can act so fast with it. We can act often. And that's what we want. We want to cycle through our abilities to get the stuff that we want. Careful now. These places are unknown. Each party member attack has a 20% chance to inflict slow. Does that apply to AoE? One would think, right? All right, so we have the... Oh, we got the nasty shrine. And goblet? Yeah, totally. Absolutely. And no questions asked. So our new guys are gonna get some upgrades now. All right. Question is, do we want a chance? The fail? Stuff their packs. Let's see. We get a plus one power. Yes. It's great promises. The guy that we bred with was a raider by nature, correct? We're gonna definitely get the plus one. Power. Oh, 18% chance to fail, but I'm gonna do it! Okay, 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 okay. I just Powerful. did it because there is a goblin right after this. So if we lose one right now, it wouldn't be the end of the day. That's my reasoning behind that. Alrighty. Let's get this. Okay. What are you? You're blue. <laughs> Alright. It's a snow goblin with like ornaments as earrings. Alright. What do we have here? Seven body, zero mind, six spirit. Brute flabby skeptic alert. I don't care. Uh, Huff melter. Rookie hunter. Brute flabby... Beast avert. On battle start versus beast, flee to the rear. But you also got a 20% bonus damage against beasts. Honestly, I don't care about any of these. Let's get you because you're funny. <laughs> A 
He's so good, man. Alrighty, let's go. So, easy fight. There's another, another shrine. Oh, we got some menfolk here, huh? Alright. So, let's see how strong we are in comparison to them. They probably scale as... No, they didn't scale at all. They are, like, really bad. Let's guard my friend the raider, because the hunter has some base armor himself. It's fine. Another intercept. Sure. Let's go. There we go. Completely blocked the attack. I love it. Wakey, wakey kills? Vital blow. <laughs> What? I should have checked my slash attack. Maybe that would have killed as well. Um, yeah, cool. Blast him? Uh-huh. We got some damage going on here. This is too easy. It's suspicious. What is going on here? If we get a crit, we kill. Bonk. Oh. Ah, all right. Didn't quite get it. I'll take five damage and I'm okay with that. So, we got the healing shan, which I will just use now. Kablam. Nice. And then we're gonna go for a bash. We slowed him. Oh yeah, that's one of our Oriflame blessings. Really good. And then the thrust will kill. All right, that was way too easy. Way too easy, guys. Goblins are the very embodiment of survival. I mean, I'm not complaining, but this feels not right. Uh, yes, we want to get the angry shrine. Was it a cursed shrine? Corrupted shrine? Huh. A dark spirit Three maximum good. life. Makes sense, right? Getting our squishiest target in there so that it can live a little longer and deal more damage over time. Uh, I think that's a good idea. Let's do it. Schnonk. And I will actually... Oh, is that worth it? Is six life? Is that worth it? No. I'm not gonna do it. Can't make me. should have gone below, by the way, because I don't have any gold for the shop. I mean, actually, I do. 70 gold is here. Okay. Fine baubles. There is much I have so much gold at home that uh, there is no need for me bringing this with me. So we're going to sell all of this instantly and get wood. I don't want leather or bone. Power plus five. 20 life on kill. 20% chance to stun. I mean, uh, I'm going to take the power bauble. I still make a positive? Sure. Get, give me everything. Let's get super powerful. Um, so, I mean, power, I think is really good on people who have AoE attacks. I'm gonna go with that. Life per kill. Um, sure, on the hunter. And then we got a chance to stun. We need better weapons with more slots. That's also a thing. It's kind of a bottleneck that we have right now. Okay, it really feels like we are extremely strong, so I'm just gonna go into this fight. End it. End it quickly. Yeah, I mean, stun is a bit of a problem. You know what? I can do the same to you. Ha! Take that, filthy halfling. Intercept guard? Sure. Okay. If we get a crit, he's dead. We didn't get the crit, we didn't get the bleed. What was that? I think we resisted something. Weird. Yeah, and this is the way. This is why I, I was going for high power on all shaman. 21 to 26 random or just A to everybody? Get wrecked. Get wrecked. 
All right, Hunter. DB shot kills. Perfect. Yeah, the halfling is going to get another attack out. Oh, will he? Uh, Soul Gale for the knockback? Ah, we didn't get it. Okay, fine. We resisted the stun, but we got, uh, we got a bit of damage already. We have a healing thing coming up. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, let's bash him. Just wear him down a little bit. Without killing him, ideally. Uh, like... That, maybe? Okay. I really wonder if that is worth it. Oh, we have food stuff as well. Come on, let's go for it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna blast him. It's fine. Should have blasted him earlier. I, I don't need to. Foolish creatures. I just want to try it in a somewhat optimal way, though, you know. But sometimes you just need to cut some corners in order to keep going. It's sometimes not worth the time investment, and you're better off just playing another mission instead of overcomplicating uh, one encounter. A humble reward for humble That's what I think of it, at the very least. We get bone and leather here. Okay. No surprise. I do believe here our Shaman is gonna perform really well with all of the AoE that we got and the power-ups. So this is a tough fight, so we should think about it a little bit. Let's go ahead and arm... Well, we don't need to armor up, we have seven armor already. I think I'm gonna just guard somebody, like... You. Okay. Another guard. Wait, do we have the wakey? We don't, so... I'm gonna hold on to the... The stun there. That's okay. Okay. Get the crit. Do we have 27%? That makes Sudden Strike so much better. If we get, like, we have a higher reliable crit chance now, which means that we can get the haste a bit more um, reliably. Do we heal? I, I think I should, but I don't. That's uh, 21 damage, and he's slowed. That's great. Four to all. What? 20% chance to stun and we got all of them? Wait, is there like a 20% that rolls once for each attack and we just hit it and therefore everybody is getting stunned? That is massive. I do believe the trap is worth it. Okay, sudden strike again. I want the uh, the haste. Trap fail. Sure. I just keep going. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. I think we need to get a heal off quite soon. Oh, you want to go for my shaman, huh? Well, take that. I also do believe that the dung trap would be the better idea in general. Powerful because it has just like a bit more a bit more AoE impact and we are going very very wide with our damage right now. And I believe we could benefit from just a bit more so that we get the, the random kills on the targets that are almost dead, you know. That big single target is already covered by our raider and by the blast of the shaman. Pestilence, eight damage to all. It's not bad. We could chance the spider kill. Yeah, I go with that. And we get it. Okay. So. Try to get the stun. Resist it, but the trap went off. So. He's down to six. We needed to crit in order to take him and also deal some damage to the other guy. Eh, oh wait. Gotta do this. Okay. By the way, we are not getting any heals out. Still looking kind of weird here. Yeah, the shamans were like, oh, we wanna deal damage now. Screw healing. 
We need to intercept. My radar is getting quite low on health, and there might be something after this event. Uh-huh. Stun him. Hey, Archeon Trooper! God, man, I, I said earlier that the speed is valuable, but he's really falling behind in terms of value that he's throwing out there. He has a healing chant coming up, and I believe it is absolutely freaking lootly worth it. So what we do is a slicing dagger to draw the game out a bit. In this instance, I think I'm gonna go for it. 90% stun resistance, so armor up. You're guarding and intercepting this guy, so... Yeah. Take one for the team. So that everybody can benefit. Let me try something. We're gonna haste our shaman so he is even faster. Get the heal out. Nice. And we don't get another one. Oh, uh, not in time at the very least. I'm gonna kill now. Let's go. Exceptional skill. Let's go. Vile cretins. A decent harvest. Double harvest. I don't think that I need it, but okay. Diligence bears. All right. Fruit. No meat. Okay, we have two foodstuffs, and I know who's gonna get it. Yeah, you, my friend. You know, again, we're gonna use all of our resources. Don't have to play it perfectly. And that's the end of it. All right. Pretty good. Yeah, it was just a scouting mission. Um, if we go here again, there will be a bigger threat coming. And... I want to see what's coming, guys. These Let's do it. Feel a little more familiar. But yes, we will get the extra wood. Now we have a total of 15. We need 20 to upgrade things. Okay, 18 now with the stuff that we found. Okay. Two are missing. Oh, is it 20 or 25? A new day I don't know. Okay, but our Raiders Guild is now upgraded and we have way more crit chance on our friends. Let me take a look at these guys. 36% chance for critting. I love it. Okay, so we're gonna do the usual checks. What can we do here? Anything on the merchant? Give me weapons with slots. 20% max life and 12 power is actually good. 8 armor, uh, sorry, 8 power, 1 armor. Mm. Mm, yes, it has a slot. And 1 extra power, but I do like the armor more. That's pretty good. The hunter quarter stuff. But also, we are losing, we're gaining 2 power. 2 power is massive, man. 2 power, we gain max life, but we lose 5 armor. And we could technically play around that. We don't necessarily need the armor here. We got it on our tanks anyways. I would keep this armor thing if I only had one tank. But since we are playing double tank setup, which I believe is good. We might want to go for it. And the max life is going to help us staying alive longer so we can get off the heals. I think this is better for our setup. Just getting more raw damage in. Uh, let me think. What do we not want anymore? This thing can go. Okay. Let's get it. Sell the junk. Alright. Fair trade. Ah, by the way. Um, 11 power or a 10 power item with two slots. That's actual choices that we have to make here. 7 power is not better than 6. Yeah, it is technically better. But the speed up is so good. It, it's not justifying the 1 power. No, we need something bigger. 8 power is bigger. I still don't feel it. You know what? Maybe we build another shaman that has just more raw power. That might be the answer. I think that's the problem that we have right now. Give me a second. Tune Trooper, what is up with you? I mean, you're you're pretty good with your eight spirit. Every two spirit point gain a power. Oh wait, that matters. Never mind. It mattered already because we just upgraded the, the raider's guild, not the shaman guild. Ah. This guy is sitting at 16 power here. Plus 5 from the weapon. Mm. 
What? Oh, that's because... Oh, yeah, you gotta, gotta power up on the weapon that says plus five power. That's why you have such a big difference. I guess that's it then. Yeah, let's 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 keep it as it is. It's fine. Let's not, again, overcomplicate the things. Uh, I want to take another look at the goblins, at the squatters here. Uh, no. No. Mm. Yeah. Only the keen and eager nah. are welcome. Prospects you may be flabby. No. Okay, so these guys are a gobble. We need to find more goblins on the map. So that's what we are going to do. Still can't build any other guilds. Why? So weird. So yeah, I want to upgrade the hunter's guild as well. 25, 25. Okay, we need fiber, we need wood, but I think we are relatively close. So into the war room we go. And we're going to get our squad out once again. Ah, okay, so this is the story element now, or we could scout Brightwood. No, I want to I go here. Visit the Orc Stronghold. Sure. Okay. Let's do it. Oh, boy. See, I didn't buy these weapons, although they might be a little bit better, because they're only a little bit better, technically. I want to make a big difference and not waste my resources too much. I'm always doing that now. There was... There was a treasure once, and now I have to do it all the time. Ammo up by two is fantastic. I love that. Gives us a lot of defense. What the hell? Oh, that's interesting. I mean, we go up, get Goblin, and then we can think about either Shrine or Tough Battle to get more power. Like, the chest always gives us a better weapon and a bauble that we can use to upgrade our goblin strength for this encounter, for this area. But the shrine is permanent. It's gonna be tough. What? 767? Skim cooker? You're ruthless. Killing uh, a foe gives you 5 power. Gourmand. You can eat unlimited amount of food to restore life. Oh, there was it. There was a cap to it, huh? Uh, spirited for plus two spirit. Oh, yes. I'm not even looking at you. Wow. Skim cooker. Welcome aboard immediately. Sorry, Toon Juba. I'm gonna get rid of you now. Ah, uh, you got an apprentice wand. Wait a second. What's the wand? Okay, ten power. It's the blast thing. But anyways, I want you. Okay, you buddy, you go home. Ah, hold up. He has the armor. Armor bonus? Question mark? I, I don't care. I, I just get him. This is my guy now. Wow. We need to breed with him to build the ultimate uber goblin. So, again, question is, uh, do we need, like, immediate value for, like, this area? It's a long and hard area, I think. Or do we get the... Yeah, we gotta get the shrine. Let's go. It makes the most sense. Permanent upgrades, always better. But we're not chancing anything here. I don't want to get any negatives. This Three max life. A strange gift. I want you to live. Oh, wait, what? 5% chance to fail? It's only 5%. Come on. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> what? <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Oh, I regret my life choices. I do that so much right now. Oh, how do we get through this now? Not only did we lose an amazing goblin, but we are down by one. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. And we're at the beginning of the adventure. <gasps> no! Okay, okay, okay. Well? Well, well, well. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna put out our tryhard pants now, huh? Holy crap, that's not good. Uh, let me try to get the Timby out. Should have actually attacked him. Get an instant kill. <laughs> okay, you should be able to get massive damage out here, right? Yup. 
Gut. Gut, gut, gut. I feel like I go super aggro. Yeah, we got the rage buff. Let's make use of it. Beast Bane Arrow. Yeah. It's overkill damage, I know, but I wanted to get one target down and there was no other good way to get it done. Two poison! Can we heal against that? Yeah, we have the healing chant coming up. All right. Kabonk. We didn't get any stuns here. Oh, they're getting strong. Going for my shaman, huh? Let's take you out first. Oh, this is not good. Huh? Still going for the shaman. Should I intercept him? He's probably dealing a lot of damage, huh? 17 is, ew, is nasty. I shall, yeah. Makes sense. I mean, we heal everybody, so... Uh, the guys that are getting poisoned uh, are taking a bit of damage and, you know, I want to spread it out so I, I get the most out of my heal. Sudden strike. Let's go. Finally a crit. That's helpful. Oh, God. Oh, God. That is not good. Oh, if you're going for a double strike, we lose the Shaman instantly. We got the bleed. Another howl, that's what we needed. Oh, I think we're getting lucky here with RNG. Here's the thing, if I blast now, I could kill one of them. The damage is not major. Not at all. Yeah, that's how we do it. I'm just gonna go for it now. The health bar looks so weird though, because of the, the numbers being on the right side. He's Bane Arrow, crit him, come on. It's 14 damage at the very least. So how do we do this? We got Pick Wounds and Slicing Dagger, not particularly helpful here. So we need to go for a Slash, which deals I think 11 damage or so. That could kill if we go Bash. Let's go. 11 to 14. Got a high roll. We got him. All right. So we are Goblin able to get this done. That's the good news. Schnonk, schnonk. Do it again. No. Is there another goblin? Please tell me there's another goblin somewhere. There is. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, look at that. There's a shrine. What are we supposed to do with that thing, huh? Let's take a look. Oh, 90% fail chance. Oh, God. I'm gonna get you an upgrade. <laughs> get out of here. Get out of here. Not worth it. So, we're gonna stock up on the best goblin that we can muster. There's a gray one. Hi. I like your face. I like your stats as well. We don't need another raider, technically. Beast avert, skeptic, ferocious. You are fit. Nice. Seven max life. Yeah, I like ferocious. It's really good. We could also take beast avert. Hmm. Kind of weird, but yeah, we're gonna take Pest Sitter. Yeah, that's what you look like. All right, uh, here we go. Bring him in, man. Let's bring the Shaman to the back. 55 life is pretty good, man. Okay, I feel a bit more comfortable now, now that we have all of our Goblin slots filled up again. Hey, hey, hey. Um, Prentice Wand. No. No, no, no. Um, can we change stats here? I don't think I need all of that life. Do I take Beast Avert or not? 20% damage against Beast is pretty good. But fleeing to the rear on Battle Start versus Beast, flee to the rear. Maybe I'll do that then. You're always in the rear anyway. It's fine. I mean, we are playing multiple rounds and we are not killing in the first one anymore. It's another goblin up there. Hmm.
Yeah. This would give us so much power for the upcoming battle for the boss fight that I'm really afraid of. Oh yeah, yeah. Come on, little guy. I know there was a blue sparkle. I see it. Okay. Slime battle. These, are these guys are really resistant to stun, but we got nine damage that we can throw around. And we get to stun anyway. All right, pretty good. I'm gonna go armor up, because I believe the fight will be a little longer. Pestilence. Yeah, good damage to everybody. Or we could blast a random guy. Let's do that. Mm -hmm. Just messing with the action economy. Wakey wakey kills big time, but so does Slash. Nice crit. Three damage only. That's it. Okay, I'll take it. I forgot to I forgot to replace the trap. I need to remember that. Um the rust. It's a solid eleven. Yet again, slash kills. Good. Shattering blow. Yeah, it seems to be a rather easy fight here. Let's go for a bash. Okay. It's trying to chance a stun here with the 20%. And I do believe we have enough damage to get this guy down completely now. Question is, do we want it? I think the answer is yes. Let's just get out of here. We didn't even take that much damage to begin with, so there's no need for a late game heal. Okay. Summoning their fortitude. They oh, wait. On. Before I forget, let's take that. Something of worth it is worth a bit. In an unlikely place. I think as soon as we find a shop or so, we can make use of this, huh? of this gold. All right. Surprise me. Amaze me. Give me another follower of my little goblin cult. This guy's really bad. I'm sorry. Skeptic beast avert. Hardhead. Stun resistance. I want neither of those. Goodbye. I'm sorry. I'm gonna leave him there. Oh, wait. Hold up. Is there something behind that? No. No, it was the whole thing. It feels bad, I know, but I don't want to clutter my... Uh, my my lair with these guys and have to sort them out again later. Potential it's an efficiency choice. Alright, Wakey Wakey gets a bit more damage, 10% more damage on the last hit. I do like the guard ability. Yeah, let's take that. An improvement. Another guard? The next three attacks? That's so efficient, man. Devious shot gives us a bit more damage, right? 10% more on damage when the enemies are stunned or slowed or so. Yeah, I'll take another guard. It's a very solid one. Healing chant. 10% more healing based on our power. I like Soul Gale. We go with that. Yup. Totally. Thank you, Guru. So harvest, smithy, camp, end. Let's go. I'm still mad at the 5% chance. <laughs> I got x comped here. That was a real good shaman guy. Okay, got some bone and leather again. I think it kind of proves my theory that as soon like there's only one type of harvest in a single map that you can find and we happen to roll um, the bone and the leather here the carcass all right we're gonna initiate with an armor up this is a tough fight we will be here a little longer that's all right intercept armor up okay you can take it buddies Spirit Rush? No, we could kill Spider here. And if not, we deal a good chunk of damage anyways. Okay. I'm 
I'm gonna chance a crit and a kill. Yeah. Without mercy. If we didn't crit, it was the the worst decision. Then our uh, sudden strike would have been better, but we did, and that's good. So snare trap for the value. And then we are going to try to. I should intercept you. Yeah, let's go with this. <laughs> Trap fail, which is okay. It's fine by me. Let's go wakey wakey. A strike. Amazing. If the trap springs, we have him. It does not. Okay. Here's what we do. We're gonna intercept the second Timber Wolf now because he's gonna go for one of our squishies. That's all right. No, oh, he's not. He's howls every now and then. Uh huh. Life hunter. We gotta keep you alive. Thing is... Slash only kills if we... Actually, Wakey Wakey does. Yeah, what am I thinking about? Let's just go for it. You're also bleeding. Oh, we got a problem here. You're gonna bleed out, man. Yeah, not yet, but over time you will. Nice crit. Vital blow. 15 damage from a guard. That is crazy, dude. I like that he's tired because that makes him heal more. Nice. Beast Bane Arrow. Sounds like a good plan against beasts. Spoink. Going for my radar again. I want to try to kill you instead of intercepting you. So we rattle. Mm, yep. It's pretty good. Pretty good. We almost healed up completely, so I think we go for... Ooh, the kill? Maybe, now that he is sixth. Maybe we don't. So we wear him down a little bit. I was hoping for the bleed. Okay. Devious shot. Down to 14. I do wonder... That's a good idea now. Intercept guard armor up. And not missing so... Actually, Life Hunter is missing a lot. I think it might be the right call. Okay, then. Gonna guard... What are you attacking? Gonna guard you? Nice. And then we're gonna guard you. Nice. He's just howling, so we did the right thing. Nice. And then healing chant, the last one. Six six health is better than nothing. And we're gonna go for the slash now. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Done. Okay, okay, okay. Modest victories lead to great accomplishments. These will be put to good use. No meat. I was really hoping for it. Oh boy. So we get a smithy and we get a we have a good chunk of money that we can invest into that guy. Gotta think about who we wanna upgrade though. They will soon need them. I really think that my power stick would be amazing here. Is the hunter better? Could also be the raiders. I really feel like my shamans need they are on on healing duty, but healing is also based upon our power, but not too much um, No, I think I'm gonna go with like a anybody that has a damage upgrade, so Let's go for the hunter 19% chance to fail Well, no, 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 do it again. Wait, if I change it, wait It's still 19. We could also spread it out a bit. Oh, why not? And that's the fail. Okay. So, campfire. And now we have a bit of health loss on a single guy. I think overall it is better if we just increase our overall speed. Uh, it's, a bit, it's a bit risky. We need spot heal. We only have one shaman. No 
Well, Trevor, ah, I'm difficult. Sorry. We gotta really protect our raider. Big boss. Oh, big wolf. I'm gonna be too slow. Yeah, I am. They confront the <sighs> so to you are an alpha wolf. Name is Ripper. Ninety six health. Oh no. Twenty two damage. The good news is we have the guard ability, and that means that this guy is already protected three times. It's armor up. I think we need it. I want to heal. I really want to. That's so much damage, though. And yes, my friend is protected for a while, so I believe this is better. We want to heal when we have more targets to heal. That's the thing. Sudden Strike needs to crit, so we go for Slash. Alright, Spider down at the very least, so we got that going. Hmm. the best damage. 12. Slicing dagger could be a thing here. But you have 28% crit. Oh man, do we go for the haste? We try. No, no haste. Our tanks are on overtime today. Yes, another guard. Gonna try to keep the squishies alive. So... I, I think the next thing that they are doing is just armor up, armor up, armor up. Now that they have three instants of protection there. Just try to make a bulwark happen here. Alrighty then. Could go slash for the bleed or we could go for... I'm gonna go for the haste. We need a crit for it though. 14 damage. Yeah. Yeah, we need to get lucky, come on! No dice. Rattle is good. Yep, 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 yep. Sets them up for a nice AoE kill as well. We have Soul Gale, and Soul Gale deals uh, 8 damage. Crap, it's not gonna be enough. We got a slash here. Uh, unless we crit? <laughs> no. Actually, Soul Gale is enough. Okay, okay, okay. And Rattle is as well, so that's pretty good. I'm gonna go with it. Cool. So... 16 damage or a blast. It's the blast. 100%. Yeah. You're still protected. And now... We have the option to take this Timby out. Oh, I'm gonna go for the Slice at that point. We're gonna now convert to single target damage. Snare Trap is fantastic. Let's... Ah, actually... It is. But... Wearing the Backliner down makes it so that uh, Soul Gale will kill now. If we get there. Sudden Strike, here we go. No crit. Yeah. Yeah. That's a kill. Okay. So, our agenda is survive. We don't have to be completely healed at the end of this fight. He has a 10% stun resistance. Part of me really wants to armor up again, huh? Actually, it makes sense. Yeah, because we will intercept. So armor up as much as possible. There we go. You can heal now. Perfect. And that's what I mean. Oh, <laughs> great. I'm still fishing for it. Come on. We are not getting it. I think I'm gonna stop now. Let's go for the bleed. Be Spain, perfect. Okay, he wants to go for my raider now, for my hunter now. That is the thing I want to intercept act actively. Just protect everybody. Pick wounds? Sure. Yeah, refresh the bleed. It's good damage.
Okay, okay, okay. I think we have this kind of under control. Sure, why not? That's a crit as well. He has three instants of bleed now. Yeah, that's that's it, man. Game over, buddy. Game over. Absolutely. And just for good measure, Snare Trap is out now. I think we won. Totally. Trigger Trap. Nope. Trap fail. Uh, pick wounds again. 40% resistance. Nah, we're gonna go wakey wakey at this point. Staggering hit. No trap. But that's it. Next instance of bleed is gonna kill. Okay. Not as dramatic as I thought it would be. That was a the good fight for us. That was really nice. Hopefully never and that's the end of this adventure, right? I think I saw something here earlier, but maybe not. All right, guys, let's take a look at what we get in the end. Is there another event? Like, we wanted to get to the Orc Town, to the Orc Settlement. And we're here. Hello, friends. Uh-oh. The goblins arrive at the Orcish stronghold, huh. awed by such a prodigious undertaking. A colossal bastion rises around them. Their That's a way to hold. Their with sonorous drumming as hammers fall and stone is set. Hello, friends. I'm here. The orcs hail their coming with greetings bellowed from atop brickworks and towers. Once settled, the orc commander brings out a familiar charge. Right, scroll, right. The very same parchment bequeathed to him by his dying kinsman at the prison camp. It states that the Orc Stone, a precious relic once lost to legend, has been located. There is no seal to show whose hand appears upon the missive. Okay. Recalling the fallen young Orc who pilfered it from the Warden's quarters, the Orcs are certain that the letter is of great import. However, it's Goblin Stone, not Orc they Stone. Can spare any effort to reclaim the Orc Stone. They must first focus on reuniting the fragmented Orcish tribes scattered across the hinterlands. Okay. The Orc Commander explains his plan to reunify the settlements beneath the banner of a single stronghold. He spreads an old tattered map upon the table and presses a finger over the village of Brightwood. Mm -hmm. The goblins mm -hmm. offer to travel there as emissaries to deliver the joyous news that their leader has returned to call them home. Okay, we're diplomats now. Uh, we're done here? Hello? We are done here. All right. So, we have a new goblin. One new goblin. Hmm. What did we find? Bunch of garbage. Yep. Nothing that we need, but maybe the merchant will surprise us. Maybe he has something that is worthwhile. Let's see what the new day brings. Can we now seek out the orcs in Brightwood and invite him to the new stronghold? Can we now build? No. Cannot build any any other guilds, although we already have unlocked an Ecolite. Okay. Okay, fine. But hey, we got our Raiders Guild upgraded. That's really good. 36% crit. 12% crit. Okay. 0% crit. <laughs> yeah, I need to... You know what? I need to get rid of you immediately. What are you even here for? What is, what is your purpose? Can I change your... Like, what would you be? You're even bad as a brute. Get out of here. They Goodbye. Wherever they roam. This guy as well. Like, he has such low stat lines. 
Uh, we're gonna keep our layer somewhat um somewhat clean here, I would say. Okay, quick check on the gobbles. 652, don't care. 577, I do care a lot. To sort the distinguished. Uh, he would be somebody to breed with. Let's go with it. Did I bring him in? I think so. Mm, the other guys are not that interesting. Okay, merchant. We'll check it out real quick. All the stuff that we don't need. A power, one armor, two slots. There's slots of it all. That's interesting, actually. Mm. But I'm gonna say no. Alright, looking good, guys. Trade in. We got 15,000 gold pieces. Holy crap. If only we could build uh, rooms with gold, right? Uh, okay, so one more thing before we before we go, I'm gonna go to my warrens. A strong lair requires a hardy lineage. Many will be born here. Three seven seven. You're not bad either, but I think we can Let do better. Live a carefree life. Free okay, from okay, okay. So my latest goblins are you, and you seven three three. You have zero zero zero. What's up with you? Holds promise. What is up with you, my friend? <laughs> Running into a little bug, I see, huh? Now, what, what do we want? Where do we want to go? What, what is the thing that we are looking for? I am looking for a very good shaman. You could be it. Your body is relatively low. So what we are looking for is religious and brute, I guess? Spirited? Spirited is fantastic. We should take Skim Cooker, actually. What's up with him? He's really good. Where does he come from? I am confused. Like, what? Oh, okay. Okay, hold up. Hold up. Skim cooker. Then needs new blood. Let's go. Wow. That's gonna be amazing if we get lucky here with the with the traits. Oh my god. So hold up. And if not, we have this other guy there. We, the, the parent basically that we've just br bred with. So who are you, bean puller? Um, excuse me. Strong yes. Whatever you want to be. Be. Just exist. Thank you. You are alright. Not exciting though. And again. Ruthless and thick blooded. The bleed resistance is kind of fine. Five power after killing a foe. Holy crap, man. Holy crap, I say. Could be anything you want. You also come with an armor because we have now uh, Spirit Seven, which gives you an uh, like a like a baseline of armor. Yes. Holy crap! But our our uh, barracks are full, so we're gonna quickly we gotta quickly get rid of some people here. Any old veterans that we want to get rid of? You got so many resistances built up already. Oh, it's so good. We're gonna keep you, Clam Timber. It's fine. Skim Cooker is good. Slur Buster. I wish you could hover here. You're not good enough. Ah, uh, actually, you have some good traits. Hmm. Bean Puller is new. I think you could go. Yeah. May they prosper. Okay, absolutely. Okay, who do we want? Let Reader. Welcome aboard, baby. Okay, okay. Looking great, guys. I would say. Is there anything else we want to do here? I don't think so. We are ready to go on another adventure in the next episode, guys. That was it for today with Goblin Stone, the roguelike tactical RPG. And I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, as always, don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.